Morning guys, welcome back to another video. Today is a work day. Well, we try to mix in work and play, but uh, let's see what happens here. We've got a cool video plan. Check out my daughter's plants. Some flowers, some tomatoes there. Built this little shelf, an idea that I got from Wrangler Star. Since this is a, a recessed window, the only one in the house that's recessed like that, we can do shelves. And as we get more, I can put more shelves, but nice little addition to my office. Now for a little bit of bookkeeping, a little bit of computer time. That's usually how I start my days. Check out the YouTube comments. Um, Troy, 13 Prevail, just uploaded a video last night. I haven't watched it yet, but uh, with the custom knife that I built him. So go check that out if you would. I've got a couple orders there that I believe are ready to go out. I just have to go and check my order list to see if they are indeed complete, if there's anything else. RangeWarriorAccessories.com I think I've mentioned these before. They sent me some t-shirts a little while back and I've really been loving them. Nice t-shirts, but I wanted to show you this that I'm about to ship out. This was a repair, sort of a restoration for a customer. I didn't do any work with a sheath. It's the original sheath. But this is a cool knife. It is the original Bowie knife. Stamped on it there. Sling in Germany. This is a monstrous knife. Really big knife. I did a clean up on the blade, some rusting, some pitting, which you can see. I gave it a light buff, repaired the edge, sharpening, and it had no handle on here. So, that's why I created this with some hard maple. So I created this with some hard maple, brass pins, brass bolster there. So, I do lots of repairs, restoration things on vintage designs. I'm doing those types of things all the time for clients. So if you have something, if you need work like that done, let me know. I'm also just about to mail off Ashley here. You diligent viewers will remember this one. Well, you will when I pull the blade out. But this is a creation for a customer that I'm just finishing up. Look at that red sheath. Black stitching as a request by the customer. Um, he fully picked out this this uh, pattern or this setup with colors here. We have a ferro rod with uh, dyed curly maple. Check out the gloss, the glass finish that that maple takes on. And then this, now some of you are saying you'll remember, it's got a light coating of grease here which is why it looks a little bit slick. This is that bull-nosed yellow fox pattern. I love this design. It feels so good in the hand. This yellow fox pattern feels so good getting up here to work with the blade. And the owner of this blade requested a stamping, Ashley, and requested that bull nose, which is something I don't typically do. But this blade is heading off, leaving here today. 
go to its hopefully forever home. Now if you've ever ordered a knife from me, you'll know that all my knives ship with Certificate of Authenticity. This provides all the details on your knife, serial number, the date that it left here, my signature, um, warranty information, things like that. It's all done up on cardstock so that you have good documentation with your knife. Of course your knife is also stamped with my initials as well, the maker. But, um, and I log all this information, my own self, in a database so that I can always, in years, maybe even decades to come, maybe even more, um, we will be able to trace back my custom creations by hopefully a few details if this has been lost. Um, you'll be able to give me the details on the knife that you picked up and I should be able to go back and give you the exact information when it was made, if it's been altered or anything like that, if it's been brought back for any work. And if you are one of those guys that are particular and really care about really care about your blade, you can keep this document, of course. And if your knife ever leaves you or you ever pass your knife down to someone, you can pass along this information as well. And I think it's a valuable piece, of course, to get all that data there. And just it's just nice. Mm. Tails. Who did those for you? Mom. Very nice. Do you want to go to the store with Dad to get mail the packages? Yeah. Okay. But can I come in? You can help me carry the packages in. Would you like that? Yeah. Okay. Then we come back home, home and play the new toys with the cabinets on them. Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. Oh, it's hot here. It is hot here. It's warm today. Put it up there. Thank you. Here's what they look like. Yeah. Like little circles? Little circles, yeah. Well, I'll show you what they do. You want to see what they do? Yeah. Okay. They, do they spin? They, well, they do spin if you put them in something. I can't say G-U-N. I tried to find a G-U-N for these. I just saw these at a gas station. Dad and I were on the road yesterday, and uh, I thought it would be fun, fun to share with, uh, with my little one here. But we're gonna play with these right now. She's never seen them, of course. This is this is old school stuff now. I bet most of you guys watching though have had lots of fun with these. <laughs> okay, why now, Dad? Turn them over. <laughs> okay, hammer on them. Hammer on it. <laughs> It is really warm right now. Did Dad buy that for you? No, no that's that was Shane's gun. That was Rick's gun. But did Rick give that to you to use? Yeah. Oh, come out. Oh, there you go. Hey. You're just borrowing the gun or, or the yeah. Oh, you might be all out. Oh. Nice one. <laughs> like your motorcycle, you're right. Well, Daddy. Ride on. I think you can. Give it a try. I can't ride on this. Why not? Because I get falls on this. No.
I'll get Mom's car, Dad. Nearly 5 p.m. here now. It is a warm day outside, but I've been doing a whole bunch of errands, running here, running there, making some other small things that I'm not going to share with you right now. And I just finished cleaning the shop, which hasn't been cleaned in probably a week. And I've been doing a bunch of work, both with the truck and, and different projects in the shop. So my shop was really run down. Uh, right now, I'm going to try to make a start on a new batch of knives that I've written here. Uh, making a start for some of you guys that are so nicely patient. So patient. Check this out, though. Um, Astro AI. Uh, this is not sponsored in any way. But I wanted a little mini fridge for my workshop down here because I have coffee percolator and stuff and I like like creamer in my coffee. So I wanted a way to keep that down here. My sweet wife got this for me for Father's Day and it is just the coolest little thing. It holds exactly, and I mean exactly, 12 pop cans. Or in this case I have my carnation milk there. But Astro AI, cutest little thing. It also ha comes with a, a DC plug, and a uh, it has a warming function as well. So, and it gets icy cold. Bam! Beautiful. That looks familiar, doesn't it? And it brings a little bit of color in. Gives a little depth to the shot. We're really missing some creativeness in here because those blank white walls I kind of regret going with the white now or maybe at least I should have left the trim the natural wood color or something something to give a little bit more uh, character in here but our walls are going to fill up anyways uh, with a flag so we'll get some more artwork around here I'm thinking about doing a logo somewhere on the wall can knives logo some cabinetry up some more pegboard and stuff so our walls will, will fill up so that was my idea in the beginning but in this meantime, I wish it wasn't white because it looks so dull on the camera. Now, let's get out some steel. Stencils, templates, remember to keep them. Keep everything you can. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here's the trick. This is sticker paper. <laughs> you are too clever, Kyle. You are too clever. So that's all I've got to offer you guys today. Now I've got to go in, supper, some time with the family, bedtime, and then I'll probably work most of the evening. Have a look at this evening out there. Water's oily, calm. Probably going to pressure wash the bike sometime this evening if I can. Have a great evening. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if it's your first time here. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if there's something here you'd like to see or if there's something else you'd like me to showcase. If you're interested in purchasing a, purchasing a custom blade from me, email me. Email is down in the description and in the comments there now. And if you want to check out my website, it's conosworthy.com, also down in the description. Have a great evening. We'll see you in the next video.